Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 12th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what wants to come up for you at this time. Should be pretty interesting. So let's take a look for you. You show up at the beginning feeling refreshed and new this week, I would say. Maybe looking towards some sort of authority position, which you know a lot of people are doing at this time. Let's take that card too, why not? Yeah, Jack of Diamonds, you, Capricorn, showing up here um, at the beginning, learning new things at this time. Saturn in your sign, learning new things. Anybody who has heavy Capricorn in the chart uh, is probably doing a lot of learning at this time. I am. I have a bunch of Capricorn in my chart. Um, you know, four planets, five if you want to count um, some of the asteroids. I think I have more, actually, because I think I have, like, two asteroids in my in my Capricorn as well, so, and I've been doing a lot of learning, so I think it's a great year for Capricorn or anybody with a lot of Capricorn in their chart or some sort of significant placement to be learning new things at this time. A very good card for messages as well, and uh, can be a card of anxiety. Um, I do think that for certain signs, it is kind of like an anxiety year. I think there's like a certain anxieties coming up. I do think that will be coming to an end soon, uh, probably around April. I've been talking a lot about Chiron. I'm very interested in Chiron. Chiron and Pisces more particular particular. Um, a lot of changes happen when Chiron's in Pisces, and uh, Chiron's about to leave Pisces in April, and I think that a lot of us will feel better at this time, but I feel like it can lead to a lot of anxiety. Maybe that's where it's coming from. Next, five of hearts, jealousy, people being jealous of your situation. Ignore it, especially if there's some sort of change coming in for you. If things are getting better, if you're making more money, uh, I would say ignore that jealousy. King of Spades, um, thinking smarter, not harder. I would say a King of Spades relies on experience. Amazing card, by the way. This is a great card for justice, changes in your life, being really happy. It's a, one of my favorite cards in the deck, for sure. Um, but it is, and it also represents Saturn, which is funny as well. So, um, but to me, it's a card that says that you need to work smarter, not harder. Uh, at this time and kind of really put your work into things that are that are working plain and simple and ignoring everything else I would say at this time but a very good card that says if you do that you can become very successful next you have the eight of spades uh, I feel like for you this is talking about temptation I, again I feel like you just I, I feel like you know what you need to do especially for those of you that are working or in business I feel like you know exactly what you need to do I think you just have to do it I think you just have to make the commitment I feel like this goes for other things in your life as well like um, again even if you're not working like your diet and, and things like that or any other positive changes that could happen in your life I feel like you know what you need to do I think you just need to commit I think you just need to do it um, I do think that this can be a card of temptation and it, to me, it kind of represents like the devil almost in the Tarot. So, you know, it's a card of temptation and being tempted by things. But again, I, I feel like you can do this. I think you just need to make the decision. Uh, next, the Joker. Joker also represents Capricorn, by the way. Again, this card also represents the devil. And uh, the devil represents Capricorn. So uh, definitely you showing up here as well in the reading as a Joker. Being multi-talented, being very good at doing a bunch of different things. I do think that you need to, you know, embrace your abilities of like alchemy. Uh, at this time, you know, uh, Capricorn is normally the goat with the, you know, mermaid tail or the fish's tail or whatever. Um, even in Vedic astrology, uh, the Ca Capricorn, I think, originally was a crocodile. So, you know, it kind of blends together water and earth and, you know, moving between the two places. Uh, the Joker, uh, very similar. Joker is about being able to live in multiple worlds, not just two, not just water and earth, but like everywhere. So this is kind of also like the magician as well. It's a very kind of magician-like energy. So I think you need to be able to move around at this time. Um, but this card says you are. It says you are very flexible at this time, and that will probably be very beneficial to you. Uh, next, you have the Five of Diamonds. Amazing time to start something new. I feel like some of you are starting a new project, and you just need to start it. Uh, that message came in very fast, so uh, that's how I know it's right. So if you're thinking about starting something, just do it uh, because it will be successful. Uh, you know, don't wait. This is also a great card of happiness coming in, more happiness, success, and it frequently represents a change for the better. So I like to see that as well. And finally, Six of Spades, incremental improvements, I feel like, for you. So I think that there are kind of like small changes happening at this time that are probably going to be lead to a lot of success. So I definitely like to see that. But to me, it seems like a very straightforward week for you. Kind of things moving forward in a nice way. A lot of good stuff coming up here. And pay attention to messages with that Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds can, like... 
it can be it can lead to anxiety like i said the, at the beginning of the reading there could be anxiety uh, but it could also be something really positive jack of diamonds is like you know somebody comes to you and says hey this person is interested in you and then that anxiety is just you uh, it's not really anxiety i think it's excitement so i think you need to change the term anxiety in your own head to excited and maybe see how you feel but it looks really good so thank you for watching and enjoy your week